Hi, now that you are done with your JE mains, it's imperative to analyze the paper. So here I am with the physics segment of this paper. So if we talk about the paper, this is the easiest paper that I have seen in close to three years. If we talk about the paper in general, 13 questions were from the class 11th segment, whereas 17 questions were from the class 12th segment. Needless to say, if you have solved a question correctly, you'll be getting four marks. If you have answered it incorrectly, one marks will be deducted. And if you have left it, in that case, of no response, there will be zero marks. So, we at Merit Nation are sure that the qualifying marks for the general category would be close to 100 marks. And if you talk about other categories like SC, ST, OBC, the marks would obviously be lesser. Now, there was no ambiguity in the question paper apart from two questions. The first question was on CP and CV, but the word specific has been mentioned. So, you should not treat it as molar specific heat capacity, rather specific heat capacity in general. And the second question was pertaining to Doppler's effect in case of light where a pinch of relativity was involved. So, apart from these two questions, the rest 28 questions were doable. Now, let me quickly take you through the different segments. So, if I talk about mechanics, there were nearly seven questions from mechanics. If we talk about kinetic theory of gases, thermodynamics, calorimetry, expansion, there were three questions from this segment. So, a bit of increase from the previous patterns. From ga gravitation, there was one very good question. And in general, from properties of matter, there were two questions. That takes care of the 13 questions from class 11. Let's talk about class 12. As I had told in my power tips video, there will be two questions from wave optics, done. From geometrical optics, there was one question. So in general, three questions from optics. From electrodynamics, there were eight questions. And from modern physics, if we talk about the entire domain up to communication system, there were six questions, just like 2016. Now, it's important to pinpoint that there were few topics which were missed this year. So, which are these topics? Waves. The entire domain of waves, if you, even if we talk about sound waves, was missing. Now, from the class 12th segment, we didn't have questions from AC, EM waves. And there's one interesting thing to be noted over here. That is, this year, there has been a 10% increase in the seats, which make it 220,000. And from this year, the weightage of class 12 boards have been eradicated. So your entry into an NIT based on JE main score would entirely be dependent on the JE main score. Needless to say that if you belong to general category and have a marks in the range of 150 plus, you will get an an entry into one of the NITs. And if the marks is in the range of 200 plus, you can anticipate your entry into a good NIT and a good branch as well. Apart from that, don't get complacent. Start preparing very well for your JE advance so that you get into one of the best colleges, not in India, but all across the globe. That is the IIT dream. Wish you all the best for your upcoming J advance. Stay focused, stay motivated. Thank you.